the effects of a high protein diet on kidney health and longevity. And this is coming from the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology. And that's August 2020. This was published. And so they were answering that question that a lot of people always ask is, does high protein diets cause uh, kidney disease? Does high protein diets cause further kidney damage? And it does depend, okay? Uh, a high protein diet, if you have a history of kidney disease, a high protein diet, will create further damage and accelerate uh, the kidney disease. So that's definitely not a good one. If you have no family history, uh, no one in your family has any history of kidney diseases, you have good kidney health, then most likely a high protein diet isn't gonna cause any issues. And what they reference and talk about is when we talk about high protein diets, they're generally high in animal protein also. And so a lot of animal protein does stress kidneys. So if you have a history of kidney disease in your family, it's something that you might want to consider uh, not doing as a high protein diet or doing more vegetarian proteins in place of the animal proteins, which will be easier on your kidneys. Now, if you have no history of kidney disease in your family, you're completely healthy, then a high protein diet for the long term most likely isn't going to cause any issues. So that isn't anything you should be concerned about. Uh, in my time working with people, I've seen one case diagnosed IgA nephropathy and she was on a high protein diet for weight loss for a period of time and just switching her diet to a lower protein diet, more plant-based, it sent the IGA into remission. And that was only one case of, of a lot of people, but it's just something that I've, I've seen in practice and I'm sure it does happen. Uh, they do talk about type two diabetics. So a type two diabetic, a lot of times will have kidney disease present or some kidney disease from mild to moderate to severe. And if there is mild, mild uh, kidney disease or even anything more than that, you probably shouldn't do a high protein diet and modify it. Maybe use more plant-based proteins, uh, do some more healthy fats so that you can lower the amount of protein that you're consuming. Uh, maybe some low glycemic or grains that don't raise the blood sugar as high, uh, like uh, real 100% rye bread is one that you can try and get the least amount of salt. And um, in stores, it's called wasa. Uh, wasa crackers they look like hard little dense crackers you get the uh, rye ones and those don't raise the blood sugar so uh, but with you know history of diabetes and kidney disease or damage you really want to be cautious with the high protein diets so keep that in mind that's something you're looking to do think about and if you're healthy and good no history of kidney disease in your family you should be good to go if you have some history of kidney disease in your family and yourself it's something that uh, you really want to consider and think about more so like, subscribe, more information on our website, videos, healthykidneyinc.com. Bye.